we have to look in. We have to remove our bias. And the, the, it's hard to remove bias actually from from human's mind because we have been you know, always been conditioned on one side. The the way to break from that is to think the opposite and try to find something in the opposite that actually help explain something that remains mystery when you believe the otherwise. Good morning, folks. Last night's event in Gatineau was outstanding. I really hope they all go like that. Mobile Observatory Project heads to the Toronto Food Bank tonight. Come see us and bring a can of food or two to help out the less fortunate. First, I want to share this because the nuclear event on RSOE has already been taken off the charts. There's a safety valve issue there at the moment. Top articles today shared by Hook Echo. Thanks for the finds. This makes about 20 papers now explaining how the climate models are biased and exactly why they tend to overestimate everything. The accounts of dissenters being censored, bullied, fired, and threatened continues, this time with another big name. Do you remember when I said they'd never get away with doing this to John Coleman, founder of the Weather Channel, and Lennart Benson, weather giant of Europe, and then the flood of others who had received the same lost their fear and began coming forward? You better believe Dr. Christie belongs on that list, too. John, stand strong as you have been, and to the others who have had funding pulled because they wouldn't toe the line or been threatened for an honest scientific position, stand up and say so. There is a tsunami of truth riding hard at the coastline of this green agenda, and the sirens can begin to be heard in the distance. If you need more info on the topic, click the climate change playlist on our channel page. It is also linked below. But here's the major issue. No matter if you pull NASA, NOAA, the Met, UAH or Michigan State, every climate record now definitively shows the temperatures have flatlined since the millennium broke and have actually been cooling as of late. Even climate.gov pretty much shows the leveling off of the long-term curve about to go back down. If you wish they'd show longer time scales or more detailed data, they won't. So like I said, click the climate change playlist and see what's really going on. Typhoon Still alive and in the South China Sea. Luckily, the major port of Hong Kong should avoid the toughest blow. But alas, to the east, another system is forming. And it looks like it's slated to run right over the Philippines again. Another quake, perhaps. Still a light winter day down under. A few systems may bring precipitation to southern regions here, but nothing you can't handle. Some of the more odd patterns here, still got the storms in the east, but the airflow out west in the North Atlantic is a bit confusing even before you go watch a couple convergence lines crop up where I'm not sure they really belong. Like some west coast weather shares here, please. How about a bit of good news? Despite all the experts and little old me predicting a major cold wave in the east this week, it is now expected to be less intense, and we expect no frosts or freezes at this time. What we do have is a quick weakening of the low pressure system set to drive that Arctic air south. It's beaten back and now blocked by a high pressure system forming over the Midwest states. This is why it's cold, but not that cold. The main low of note is now going to be a major story for Texas tonight. Some of the flash flooding will be present to the east and to the north. Solar wind, very much calming at the moment. And with that, we say goodbye to the coronal stream and hello to geomagnetic calming. Do we have any solar flares? He said sarcastically. Great googly moogly, this is one quiet star. I'll even go so far as to say the official sunspot number may be a bit generous. Even though the sunspots have not been flaring like they should, we have still seen years without a blank day, a day with no sunspots. Solar Max, it really may be getting ready to give its last breath. Let's match the coronal holes to their force on the Iswa diagram. The southern bulb is an easy one to spot. If you have trouble, always start up at the top with the dates. They give you a good idea of what's coming and where everything is. The one to the north is fairly easy to see as well. And when you catch something cresting into view on the equator, there's a good chance it's still on the right side of the chart and hasn't flipped back over to the left side where the current openings can be found. Watch positive, overcome, and dominate the earth-facing influence, followed by shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.